We believe that by 2017 we'll be able to launch this to market, said the CEO of Slovakian company, Aeromobile. Uri Vakulik at the South by Southwest conference this week. Vakulik envisions a future where flying cars fly slightly lower than planes and trips by flying. Taxi are common. We don't even need airports, Vakulik said. If something like a flying Uber and flying LYFT will be on the market, I think many users will find this a very efficient way to move. The Aeromobile is already in near final prototype stage and unlike other rivals, meets the criteria both for planes and for road vehicles in Europe, although Vakulik admits there are still some hurdles regarding where the plane is allowed to fly and take off on the ground. The Czech-built vehicle can hit 100 miles per hour, and it flies at up to 124 miles per hour on twin propellers. It can land on just 150 feet of grass and fly for up to 430 miles. Its makers hope it will change personal transport on a global scale. The car can be used in road traffic anywhere in Europe. It needs just 750 feet of clear road to take off. It's equipped with an autopilot and a parachute for emergencies and its makers hope it will herald a new age of door-to-door -door transportation. The makers designed and built the working model in just 10 months and say it contains various groundbreaking technologies which could spark a new age of personal aviation, such as variable angle wings which uh, allow it to take off on a much shorter runway than rival aircraft. The Aeromobile also has toughened suspension, so it can take off from relatively rough terrain, including paved streets or parkland. Its makers have yet to confirm a price tag or release date for the vehicle, but unlike rivals, it is most definitely real and flying over Europe now. Bakulik admits that the only thing standing in the way is government regulation, both in the air and on the ground, Bakulik says. We need to match 100 years of bureaucracy in the air and 100 years of bureaucracy on the ground. It's not easy.